hi everyone how are you welcome to another question and answer session for mrcs section here the question the integrity of the muscle is assessed by the trendelenburg test so it is one of the direct question that integrity of the which muscle is tested during the trendelenburg test here the options options are sartorius quadris quadratus femoris semi membranosus gluteus medius and piriformis so let's see the trendelenburg test so in this first picture we can see a man is walking when the person pulls his one leg above the ground then this balance is maintained by the opposite sided muscle and this is this muscle and in the second picture we can see this muscle is paralyzed for this when this foot is elevated above the ground from the ground then we can see this muscle is not able to maintain it is a normal level because this muscle is paralyzed so we have to find out name of this muscle we can see in the second picture this is the muscle and this is gluteus medius muscle so this point is very very important the gluteus medius muscle it maintains balance during the foot located in the above part the opposite side gluteus medius it maintains its normal level and in the second picture we can see this is the weak gluteus medius muscle and in case of weak gluteus medius muscle when the foot is above the ground on the opposite side pelvis is not possible to maintain its normal level because here the weak gluteus medius muscle so this is called trendelenburg's test or trendelenburg sign so this dropping of this pelvis is known as trendelenburg test or trendelenburg sign in this here details about the trendelenburg sign here we can see weakness of the thigh abductors which is mainly by the gluteus medius and partly by the gluteus minimus and it is supplied by a nerve and this nerve is the superior gluteal nerve this nerve is the superior gluteal nerve and test by having patient standing one leg and pelvis shakes on the contralateral side when standing on the affected leg so it is all about the trendelet practice so it is now clear that the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus uh, this muscle is assessed by the trendelenburg test and it is if it is positive then it is known as trendelenburg sign so our answer is gluteus medius and it is supplied by the superior gluteal nerve so superior gluteal nerve it supplies the gluteus maximus which uh, causes the stability of the hip during uh, one leg above the ground and so paralysis of the gluteus medius muscle or injury to the superior gluteal nerve may cause the trendelenburg test positive or trendelenburg sign thank you all